Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Ruben Arana Dams, and now I'm gonna to talk to you about that, the body part of your speech, and in the body, this, this short acronym called PREP, which is PREP, and it's an acronym that helps us to remember what we wanna do in terms of the body or the meat of our, of our speech. Now, in our, in our body, we talk about speaking so that we're not rambling on. You've ever been in that conversation with people who are talking and talking and talking and you want to slap them upside the head and say, hey, can you get to the point, please? This is in a sense kind of what you want to do so organize your thoughts and organize your speech. It's very good for briefings as well. And that is, again, that PREP, P-R-E-P. And the PREP stands for the point, the reason, the example and then repeating your point again. And just to, just to go through that very quickly, the point is what it is that you wanna say about a subject. What is it that you wanna get across to somebody? Then a reason is you're stating why that, why that statement is true or what makes that statement worthy of being said. The example illustrates that statement. It fleshes it out so that people can get a better grasp of what it is that you're talking about. And then to cap it off again is the point, the point restated. So let's say I wanted to talk about McDonald's food and I wanted to say something about McDonald's. And let's say, hey, you know what? McDonald's food is delicious. The hamburgers are bar none. And that's the point I wanna to make to my audience. Now, the audience is going to be like, okay, why would you say that? And I need to give a reason now. The reason is, the reason that McDonald's food is so delicious is because it's so fresh. Now, the freshness and is, is, my, is my reason. Now I want to go into an example. So an example is kind of like a mini testimony or how you personally might know or but personally might know that, that that reason and that point is true, or if you look up data or information, you can also use that as examples. So I might know that, that McDonald's food is fresh because I, I'm, I, I'm an employee. And so because I worked at McDonald's, then I was actually a, a person that made the secret sauce, and I always used the freshest ingredients that were mwah, delicious. So that's how that's how I know that's how I know that McDonald's food is 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 so delicious. And then I, again, I close out with my point restated. I tend to like to state, restate my point in a in a different way, so it's not mirroring the exact same thing I said in my point. So my point restated is, and that's why you know that that's how you can know McDonald's food is so tasty. So if I do that in after I've given him an introduction, perhaps, then I go into a body, and I, it might sound something like this. My speech, everybody, is gonna be about McDonald's food, and I wanna let you know how delicious McDonald's food is. It's really delicious because they use the freshest ingredients possible. I actually used to work for McDonald's food and made the secret sauce that, that goes, that went on every single patty, and I always insisted that I was able to use the freshest ingredients possible. And as you can see, that's why, as you, actually as you've heard, that's why the McDonald's food is so delicious. All right, that's pretty much it. Take care and God bless, and I'll see you guys next time.